everyone, I'm Urban Girl and welcome to my channel. I'm in a different spot today, I'm quite near the river so you probably hear a lot of noise from there. It's about 6 degrees today, so about 43 Fahrenheit, not really that warm. Not too much wind at the moment um, and it is forecast for rain, so we'll see what happens. I've come to this spot for a really specific reason and that is to try and find some decent long pieces of sticks, i.e. wood. Um, and hopefully if I can find the sticks that I need then we'll have some fun um, with a concept shelter. So all will be revealed guys if I can find the right sticks. Anyway, um, let, let's uh, set up a wee bit of space to uh, base ourselves and uh, let's get cracking guys. Well, as you can see, <laughs> we haven't set much up. Um, I brought my chair so that I can have a seat and be comfortable. Um, this is a really, really busy spot because there's, the bit that um, at, we opened up on is the walkway by the side of the river um, and it's really, really busy with lots of people passing by and walking dogs and all that. So, um, yeah, we'll try our best, guys. The reason I came to this spot is hopefully you can see just here there's a lot of fallen trees um, and they, for a change, look reasonably straight, which is quite good and that's what I'm really after. So what I'm really looking for is four sticks um, that I can cut to the same length. I'm thinking about at least 150 centimetres. I don't need a tape measure because that's what I, I measure. So if I can cut four, four sticks, relatively straight to the size that I am, then we'll see if we can get this concept shelter um, set up. I'm not very sure how it's going to work out. Um, you'll understand that when you see uh, when you see me trying to construct it. Um, but yeah, I better get on with it. Right, okay, I managed to find four sticks. One of them's a wee bit lightweight, but uh, I don't know, I'm going to chance it. 
What I'm going to do now is, um, well yesterday I spent time trying to uh, clean up and sharpen my Mora HD, my Mora knife. So I'm going to use the Mora knife just to cut off any big um, gnarly bumps that, that are on the wood. Like if they're really, really sticking out, um, I'm just going to try and chop them off a bit because um, it'll make it easier to set the shelter up. It's not absolutely necessary, but if they're too, if they're really too big, then they will get in the way, and they'll just make it harder when I'm setting up. So that's what I'm going to do next, guys. Right, this one first because it has got a couple on it that are a bit too big. So we'll see. Let's see how we get on. I'm also not going to go absolutely over the top cleaning them all because I'll be here all day and that's not really the purpose of the day so this is the other really big one which I did start sewing but it was taking too long <laughs> but I probably should sew it because it's a pretty big it was a pretty big branch Right. <sighs> right, I'm going to do these other three, just check them for wee bits and bobs. Um, so, I'll clean these other three sticks up and uh, we'll see how we get on, guys. I really don't know if this is going to work. Um, I saw an idea and I thought, ah, uh, let's try it. <laughs> so, what I've done is I've been down at my studio, really, really busy with the sewing machine, trying to create this shelter. Um, and yeah, I made a lot of mistakes and the sewing's not that great, so it's not really that strong. It's also definitely not waterproof. Um, it was just really a bit of fun, so I don't know. We'll see if it works. Anyway, I'll get on with cleaning these three sticks and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so one of the better sticks um, has got a crack in it, <laughs> which isn't great, but it's really a really thick stick, so I'm going to chance it. <laughs> it might just break in half, I don't know. Um, I need to wait and see, I guess. But anyway, I've cleaned all the sticks off, so they're more or less ready to go. Um, so it's just a case of... Um, setting it up and see how we get on. Oh boy, that starts to work. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll make lunch today. I, I, I brought a wee cup of soup with me. Because um, I wasn't sure whether or not I'm going to have lunch But if I do then yeah It's just a quick simple um, Just a wee quick simple soup thing That I brought um, And I also brought a coffee So in case I want a coffee Right That's that Right <laughs> What I'm going to do is, um, I'll probably, I'll, I'll try and, right, 
I'll film the shelter set up um, on a fast loop because I think it's probably going to take me quite a lot of time to do it and like you don't want to sit through 45 minutes and you struggling to put up a daft shelter so um, I'll film it on a time lapse for you guys and then hopefully fingers crossed we get a shelter standing and then um, and then I'll bring you back and we'll have a look around and I'll explain um, what I did <laughs> so fingers crossed guys fun shelter here we go Well, there it is, guys. DIY TP shelter. <laughs> um, I sewed this together down at the studio just from lots of bits of spare fabric that I had left. I did buy one more piece of uh, camouflage fabric. Um, it was a, it was an oddment on eBay, so it wasn't expensive. It was about six quid. Um, so yeah. I think um, I'm not on a flat here so I think that's causing a bit of a problem with sagging at the back but what I might do is test it on the tarmac before I pack it up. Um, 
Um, so yeah, actually, overall, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Um, as I say, it's not waterproof and it's just a bit of fun. Um, if you look back on my videos, probably back at 2020, um, when, you know, the world went mad, um, I did do a kind of wraparound TP with some of these uh, scarves and things. Um, but this one, uh, you know, what I've done is I've, de I've sewn in the, the pole. So I've sewn in the pole holders um, into the shape. So yeah, overall, really, really pleased actually with the fact that it's standing up and it'll do. I mean, as I say, it's not waterproof, but it's just a bit of fun. A family went past and the wee girl said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm building a teepee. And she said, why? And I said, for fun. <laughs> you know, for fun. Yeah, so good fun. It was good fun. It was a lot of sewing and yeah, it was actually quite difficult to sew it because you're working with big massive bits of fabric and you don't go through the machine very well unless you've got a heavy duty machine, so. But anyway, that's it done now. So um, I'm going to heat up some water for soup. So yeah, nothing fancy as I said guys, I'm just going to heat up some water for the soup. Um, I'm using the BCB for that. some water in it probably enough Sport. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this soup, guys, and I'll bring you back later. Cheers! Well, there we go guys, I'm all packed up. The sky's looking a bit grey, so it, it might actually uh, look like it, it's gonna start raining. <laughs> um, so I'm all packed up. Oh, that was a really nice wee afternoon. A cup of soup by the river with a DIY teepee. It was just a bit of fun. Thanks again for watching my channel. I really appreciate all your views. Let me know in the comments what you think about the TP. Should I put grommets on it to try and keep the fabric pulled up? Or will I just put it in the bin? <laughs> Let me know what you think, guys. I'm just an urban girl out having a bit of fun.